Hello and welcome back to our channel. It has been a while since I have seen you. I have genuinely missed you so much and today is a very exciting day, something we have been building on for many weeks over here at the doll shop and at Virtual Doll Convention. And I know a lot of us are just getting itchy for a new doll and maybe some new fashions and you know, whatever else is up our sleeve, which you're gonna see in the next video because we have some boxes with some wigs that we're gonna unbox, but we have some exciting things happening. Now I'm opening up our, our book right here, our sporting fashion book, because we in this video we are going to be talking fashion. We're going to be talking sporting fashion, which is a lot of the wonderful garments that we have drawn inspiration from to create for the virtual doll convention and our outfit that we are going to be debuting in just a couple of short hours along with our long game Ellen Wild is called Summer shopping. Now, I'm always honest in our videos and I love shopping. Shopping is so much fun. Sometimes we just get itchy and we want to shop and when you look fabulous while you're shopping, it's just a vibe. And so we are bringing that vibe to you. This outfit that Christopher is going to talk about is one of my favorite outfits that we have ever produced for Ella and Wild. But let's just chat about our girls here. So we have a lot to say and in our Tonnerfest group, we have been posting our friend Linda Logan has been posting reviews of our Ann Fitzpatrick dolls and our long game doll. But the, the Ann Fitzpatricks, those are coming out on June 8th, with, which is happens to be World Doll Day, which is a really fun day. And these girls are so sweet. They have extra joining, which we're going to get into and talk about a little bit more in depth. But I love them. And look, Little Anne is just standing right here with no stand, all of her posing. But before we get too into the weeds with our beautiful child dolls, which I am just so excited about, especially being a mom now and enjoying how much, how fun it is to just have a, a child in your life. It has been extra, extra sweet. But our long game, Ella Wynn Wild is debuting two days. We're gonna show her up close. I think that Christopher actually put her, I'm not sure if he put her in the outfits, but we're gonna, we're gonna be talking about her fashion. So we've had these dolls in the shop for a while. They actually came, as you remember, from my updates with my microphone, some of them were missing. It was these dolls and some of the Ann dolls. And we went through so much, so much stress as a business owner. Robert and I were just really worried, but we were able to recover them. And that is very exciting because to be able to get the dolls, it is a nine, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say a nine month to a 12 month process from the point that Robert sends in his ideas, gets back a counter sample, approves it, production, shipping, getting here. It's not easy to get these dolls, not easy by any measure. So the long game is something very different from Robert Tonner. She is not at all what I expected. This is when we opened her, you probably saw our unboxing video, but this is one of my favorite ways to receive Robert's dolls is when he just said, hey, I have an Elowen coming and I have no idea anything about her. I didn't know if she was wigged, if she was rooted, nothing. And she's fabulous. She looks very Edwardian to me with her hairstyle and her cuffing on her jacket. But she, this is very quintessential Elowen to me because there's a bit of disjointing here in the outfits. There's no fashion rules in play right here. When we look at it, we're like, you know, kind of looking like at all the different pieces, which is what Elowen is very famous for, her quirky style. And what Robert Tonner loves when he is making Elowen. His favorite doll that he ever made was Elowen because he is classically trained in fashion and he threw all of those rules out the window to make Elowen. So sometimes she is perfectly paired with all of her colors and all of her matching things and sometimes she is not. And so when it's all together like this with the hair, with the makeup, with all of it, of course it makes sense, but there's something quirky about this doll and that's what I love about her. So they are limited to 200 dolls and they are going to be available today at 12 p.m. Mountain Standard Time in the Elowen Boutique. The other things that are going to be available in the Elowen Boutique today are our summer shopping outfits. And then we also have some brand new wig styles that are vintage styles 
from Ruby Red Galleria, which we are very excited. I keep saying we're very excited, but we are very excited. It's hard to get this stuff. And when we can finally get it and offer it to you, it's the best day because this is one of the things that we live for as doll collectors. So we're going to chat a little bit about summer fashion, and then we're going to bring in our fashion guru, Christopher, to talk all about it. So I know that we're chomping at the bit. You've seen a lot of, in our videos and in our pictures, sometimes if you zoom in and look on the background, we intentionally put in little, little gumdrops, little, little Easter eggs, as we call them, because there are some things. So in the last several months, we have, we have had these outfits for a very long time and now they're here and it's so great. And we have a hundred of each color, but introducing summer shopping. So we're going to put the, the photo on the screen of the actual archival dress that is part of the summer shopping exhibit, summer shopping in the 1950s. But I'm just going to read a little bit about the, the history of summer shopping and what women wore. So this is so much fun. So Palm Beach was hailed as an ideal part-time residence for those seeking a tropical respite from blizzards in winter and traffic jams year-round. Only three hours and 52 minutes by fast plane from New York. The resort town offered plenty of recreation from snorkeling in sky blue waters to tanning on pristine beaches. Activities known as semi-sports included everything from playing jacks to shopping. So shopping was considered a semi-sport in the 1950s. And you know what? I still consider that correct because sometimes when you're going shopping and especially at a doll show, we all know what that's like. You need to be hydrated. You need to have some snacks. You need, you can't even, you get lightheaded sometimes from just going, going, going. It is a lot of work. So when you were out summer shopping, you needed a, a garment that would withstand different types of weather, different types of situations. And that's what this gown was. So New York City, based designer Claire McArdle's philosophy of practical easy care garments which layered accordingly to the wearer's body type comfort and needs defined the ethos of mid 20th century sportswear she combined these traits into versatile cotton sateen ensemble with a matched asymmetrical wrap that tied nonchalantly at the left side the outfit illustrates her belief that we live casually, spiritedly, and easily with our newfound freedom in clothes. Worn on its own, the pastel-striped sundress was perfect for hopping into a convertible for an afternoon going to and from the store. The shrug added a variation of measure of formality when needed, and the tress-taming kerchief and sunglasses were the perfect topper to this outfit. So, and the bag is just absolutely wonderful too. So the, the end of this says suitable apparel plays an important part in making a vacation successful, comfortable clothes that can take it yet look neat and attractive are essential. And that is so important and, and very, very, very chic. Now, this is not how a lot of us dress nowadays, although I wish that I had this outfit. This is so beautiful. But Ruby Red Galleria, I thought, did an incredible job pairing and making this outfit. Now, the, the shrug is attached, which makes it a lot easier, and so you're not going to lose it. But the kerchief and everything about it is just so outstanding. I love everything about it. It's just beautiful. And we're going to bring in Christopher Johnson and he is our fashion guru here. And he did such a beautiful job setting these up. It absolutely took my breath away when I came into work. It takes a lot hours, hours and hours and hours to press and get these dolls ready from head to toe. Hair, their makeup's already there, but the clothes, all of it. So thank you, Christopher, for making it look so beautiful. Let's talk some fashion. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Christopher, thank you so much for this beautiful setup you did of summer shopping. Thank you. Yeah, this does the work for me. You know, summer is here and Elowen is ready. I am very, very excited about this reveal and this outfit. It's it's really special and it reminds me so much of the sort of exhilarating excitement I felt about the launch of Land and Sea. It felt like something something brand new and, and riveting and exciting and very fresh. And this is the same sort of excitement. It's it's beautiful. I don't know what to say about it. <laughs> it's it's really beautiful. The fabric is is gorgeous. 
not only in appearance but also just in texture. It's really light, it's really flowy. Very Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers. It just, actually, you may see some of the photos that I took for this. I got <laughs> really excited and ahead of myself and I brought out a fan and I wanted to see just how this responded to motion in that way. And it's, it's very, it's very responsive. It's just beautiful fabric. It's lightweight and flowy and vibrant and saturated and the dress itself is fairly straightforward. You've got one like strap sort of and then you've got one proper shoulder and at the shoulder you've got a, a scarf that is attached here and you can wear it about 800 ways. So I've got that sort of slung over the other shoulder or draped around the arm or caught in some fingers to be you know cascading in the wind whatever it is. It's it's a really fun and casual but elevated glamorous sort of casual outfit. Extremely old Hollywood. It feels very timeless in a, in a sort of 50s classic way. Just beautiful. So of course you can see it's sort of mixed and matched with dolls. I think this piece is so <laughs> satiating by itself. It's so wonderful as it is. It doesn't necessarily need to be configured with anything else, but I think it is such a great way to play with color and way to play with texture to showcase this on multiple and different dolls, different lip colors, different eye colors, different hair colors, and of course complexions as well. I mean, it just, it really runs the gambit. I love a jewel tone. <laughs> and uh, guilty. I love, I love bright colors, and this is so wonderful. As someone who has proclaimed and stands by this that I don't really love blue, there's blue in each of these, and it's maybe the best part of the outfit. It makes the sort of Venn diagram of the two different dresses meet in the middle. You can wear blue with either of them, and so that's very exciting. Anything that complements blue is very versatile for this. It's just, it feels very fitting for the season and bright and light and festive. And I'm very, again, I'm very proud to add this to our library of, of pieces that we can offer. I am too. So let's talk about shoes. So we, you did yes. say a veritable buffet of shoes can fit, but let's, can we talk about some of sure. the colors that you Sure, used? sure, sure. So we've got, actually, I guess I'm showing off a little Preview. early surprise with this. More information about that shoe to come, but blue really does work with all of them. I love the, the peak of yellow that you've got through the sort of aqua variation and brought out some of our recent mix and match head to toe shoes, really to play off of that bright lemon that's in the fabric. And then ages ago, we had a different mix and match sale where this shoe in a couple colors was released. The shoe itself is actually just a clear plastic, but the sole and the laces have this really wonderful uh, sort of raspberry color. And I think it's, it complements the fuchsia variation so nicely. I forget what's on over there. Oh, just a classic sort of strappy shoe. That's the basic Tonner one shoe that comes with a new doll. And there's actually, if you can see, there's just a little bit of pale, powdery, cool tone pink in the fabric. And I should say that the, the fabric is consistent, but no one dress, as far as I can tell, is exactly like another. And the way that each dress is cut gives you a, a really unique play on sort of the almost paintbrush effect that the fabric has. The, the printing of the fabric has. So in there you've got deep aubergine and there's a little bit of black even. There's a whole scale of blue colors and magenta colors and of course there's just a true hot pink and you can play with any of them. I mean you really could pair black with this if you wanted to. There's bits of white in both of them as well. It almost reminds me of like like a cotton candy or like, a, like an ice cream sorbet that's got lots of different colors almost whipped into it it feels sort of confectionary that way. I just, I love it. So I want to talk about the actual garment. So can we yeah. show them real close up yeah. what the piece looks like, the shawl, because it is yes. attached. So on the shoulder, you've got it sewn behind the arm. And actually you can put the arm through here so you can wear it both ways. You can have it behind or you can have it pulling through, and then you could have it all forward if you wanted to. It's just it's just stitched onto the side there, and then you can have it sort of drape either direction. And it's, it really, it's, it could just sort of flow behind her, or you could have this become part of the headscarf. You could have this sort of balloon into a shoulder. I mean, it just, it plays many, many, many ways. Otherwise, the dress, like I'd mentioned, is, is pretty straight cut. Belt is separate. 
so you can you can actually remove this all together if you would like to and then the headscarf of course is also its own thing you can wear this many ways you can have this as a bandana or simply just a neckerchief like you could really do anything with this I've got them sort of you know almost hailing cabs in the hand that sort of thing you can you can really play with it many ways so although this piece is not a a necessary garment to mix and match the way that it comes is very prepared to do so very versatile just as it as it is let's talk about these custom handbags they yes great job with them beautiful so these are wonderfully embroidered little leather bags great little zipper you can put things actually in there if you want to the strap is adjustable and then you've got this lovely really fabulous sort of bit of, of flora and fauna, a little foliage moment here. And actually, these colors work for, for both really nicely. It's just a lovely little sort of caramel colored bag that if you need to bring maybe your produce that you've found on your shopping excursion, or perhaps a new pair of shoes, a vinyl record maybe in scale would be great for this. It's just a really perfect little accessory. And we've got some, some brown shoes actually that we'd released recently, they'd be a great accessory for this as well. So I wanna just move on over here so we can talk about Z and Gwen. Yes, naturally. These feel like such a fitting choice for a garment like this. The lore is, is growing, the lore has elaborated. So we have two new dolls that are serving now canonically as Elowen and Nima's grandmothers, but in live time in the 60s. So rather than these being older women for Elowen and Nima, these are those dolls at their age when they were in the 60s, and they are so beautiful. So maybe late 50s, early 60s, these women would have been wearing these garments out to actually go shopping. I think it's so charming and so endearing and such a fun way to sort of expand the universe of Elowen, and we're very grateful to have these dolls in the shop, and I think they are a perfect pairing for these outfits. I mean, I just, one of the things too is that I can't get over the way that the fabric catches light. It's so, the, the sheen on it is remarkable. I had both a, a terrible journey and a marvelous time trying to get just the right shots of these dresses and really do them justice because truthfully, I don't think that they capture on camera the way that they do quite in person. They're so beautiful in person and that's not to say that they're not lovely photographs, hopefully, but that you may not quite get the full oomph of what they have just over a screen. These are very special. The way that they look and feel is is just divine. And that, that sort of sheen, sateen, soft, painterly effect that it has is, I love them. Oh, I love them too. I am very, very proud of these garments. I just realized that I was so carried away of talking about the long game that we also have a restock of our... Yeah. I can't believe we did that. Yeah, well, we've got both of them, you guys. Yes. So we've got everyone's favorite, the Rooted Afro Life's a Beach 4 in her green swimsuit has been restocked. We have more of those now for you. So if you missed them last time, fear not. <laughs> we have heard your cries. We have more. And maybe you loved yours enough that like she needs a companion. Like I understand that. And and now you have the choice to do that. Everyone has really been just over the moon about the long game. Um, and I'm so glad to have a companion for this release that has as much sort of hype. I mean, people really, really loved that doll when it came out. And so I'm grateful to be offering her again. So now this is this is tough, but Christopher, if you had to pick a color, what would you choose? Um, okay, so that... <laughs> I know. Uh, I am biased. I love a pink moment, you guys. I, that should come as no surprise. I I will say though, truthfully, I like that the way that the aqua photographs better. I think you can see so much just because of I don't know the the color palette. The aqua seems to show off maybe more of the texture of the fabric itself. Listen, I have a convertible. Okay, like I'm spoiled, and I I understand the practical need for a headscarf to keep your tresses in place when the top is down. Okay. And trust and believe, if I could have access to a garment like this, it would take 0.2 seconds for me to be hopping in my car with a fuchsia headscarf and, you know, the scarf trailing back behind me. It's beautiful. And, and the fact that, like, it really is so... It feels lived in already. There's something that feels vintage about it. I, I'm just really excited about it. I mean, like, to get something that flows like this and is lined and has a, has a bag, like, the bag's part of the outfit, you guys. And you're getting all of it for 
dare I say, I think a, a steal. We're gonna be listing, each of these have a count of 100. Um, there's 100 of each color, and they'll come with the bag. Uh, we're listing them for $80, so get your wallets ready. I think I, I will be budgeting for both colors. I'm, I'm just very excited about this and having you guys see it and having you photograph it because it's always different to see it in your hands. And I've said it before, but it's true. Like, we, we receive so much inspiration from the things that you stage and the ideas that you have. So I'm looking forward to seeing some of that. If you want to take your, your Instagram photographer moment to the next level and like play with a fan, I would be so excited to see those like billowing fabric photos because it will give you that. I mean, it's phenomenal. I, anyway, I could ramble about it forever, but you can pair just about any shoe with this. I wanted to briefly show off that we have a new pair of shoes for you. Ello over here is showing off a really <laughs> goofy and endearing, charming pair of shoes. They're coming out shoes. soon. These, these were the shoes that I wanted so desperately to show you for the cherries and berries collection that we had with those halters and with the shorts and the bell bottoms and then of course with the box. These are the same sort of silhouette as the shoes we released for Valentine's Day. They've got that sling back heel and then this really charming little cherry detail just above the toe. I am just enamored with these and I think they accessorize so nicely with a red lip. So again, if you just want to play with like color contrast and whatever, green and red are really fabulous opposites and very complementary colors. And so, you know, playing with peaks of white, this is a great way to do that. You can also play with some, you know, bits of turquoise and mint and cerulean and jade would be really pretty with this. But we have some other shoes that have existed in the boutique for a while that hopefully now, really, truly, you are getting a fabulous collection of garments to reach for and accessories to pair with them. And, and this, I think, feels like such a perfect puzzle piece to fit into that wardrobe that you have because you can wear so many things with it and I don't know on its own it's just it's really beautiful and then just to reiterate these shoes will be coming out with the remaining the dress that we have for the LO Air box the, the finale box of LON for this season that also has a companion dress that is is coming we promise it's on its way and when we get the rest of all of those in, we will release these shoes with them, and we will also be releasing these shoes with them. So you'll have a little hint at what to look forward to with those shoes there, and then something else to sort of satiate your palette with the cherries and berries shoes that we were supposed to have eons ago. So apologies for that. I, I am excited for you to get them now because they're going to be so cute with that little halter top and the high-waisted shorts. It's going to be amazing. So enjoy those and enjoy this and enjoy your new dolls. I mean, I think the, the best way to celebrate the release of a new doll is to, you know, garnish her in a new outfit. And I really, I think that the, the long game in this is just beyond. The face on this doll is so beautiful. I love the subtlety. I love the winged liner. I love the expression. She's just got this really fabulous face and a wonderful wig. The hair color on it is really, really great. So dress her in all your new favorite colors, perhaps aqua and fuchsia in particular. But in the meantime, get get ready because we've got some some really exciting things, unreleased things up our sleeves. Thanks, Christopher. Bye. Bye.